Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the live tour, the Cabinet of Curiosities, um, presented by the Institute of Architecture um, at the Angavante for the festival. So for our website, um, you'll be able to go to the Angavante Festival, the main website, and then go to the go to the tour menu and then see both the live uh, tour as well as the link. So if you click here, you will be able to see the, um, the world we are presenting to you guys. So um, at the beginning, I wanna say this, um, this project that we are presenting to the Angavante Festival is, um, is, is being like produced by um, our team at the Studio Lin with the support of the de department as well as um, the OVOS that help us to de develop the, um, the world. So um, in, the, in the entrance menu, you will see that um, we're distributing the cabinet of curiosities into um, five different categories, the image, the video, the tax, the model, and the diploma world. Um, as you might know that um, for our institute, uh, we are organized by three um, architectural studios, the studio Cristina Diaz Moreno and Efron Garcia Granda, studio Greg Lin, and the studio Hani Rashid. And besides the studio, uh, we are also we also have different departments um, that, is also, that is also part of the Architecture Institute, uh, including the structure, design, um, the, the applied foreign affairs, the theory, the history department, um, digital design, digital production, energy design, and all the work that were produced in these three different studios and the different departments are included in this um, cabinet. And then they are also being categorized in different uh, media representation. So um, I think before we go, we talk more about how the organization is, we should just go to one, one of the world to see uh, the stuff. So in the image world, What we are presenting are um, all the image media from the Institute. Um, and then you, you can feel free to browse in the world with your mouse. And then if there's anything you, you are interested about, you can just go and click on the image. And for example, this one is um, a student work produced um, in the studio Greg Lin. Um, in the winter semester. Um, this project is a market um, that is organized for the shared um, self-driving vehicles and the pedestrians in the harbor of Tallinn. And if you wanna get more info of the studio, you can feel free to click on the link. That would bring you to the um, to our um, studio web, web page, or you can also get to know more about this project on, the, on this YouTube um, ch video channel. Let's take a look at another work, um, this one. So this one is, um, is a photo from the Foreign Affairs um, led by uh, Barbell Mueller and foreign affair is, um, I think this is from, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is from the Marcus or maybe maybe Maya knows more about um, the foreign affair and then can give everybody a, a brief introduction about this. Uh, the foreign affairs is actually uh, operating across the globe, I would say, but with a focus on going to uh, areas which are uh, more precarious and also where 
the most main architectural mainstream would probably uh, not, not, not go. So this project uh, is in Africa, I think is in Ghana. And it's uh, what's very admirable about the, the, the AFA is that it works, that Bearable works with um, architectural students who are still in, wind, uh, in their studies. And they go to these places and really with the communities and with different, sometimes also with NGOs, develop projects uh, which give great value to the to the local communities uh, at at a specific location. Yes, and I think, like it says, this is a, this is a market project. I think just co completed a, a couple of months ago, um, and also the AFA and the IOA alumni really built. Uh, these projects uh, together with the with the with the local people. Great, and then you can also um, see their uh, press release or more information about the AFA on the link. So let's see what else. Uh, let's look at this one. So this one is. Um, is a project from Studio Hamid Rashid called the Hypermobility. And um, this project um, is looking at the fact of the abundance of the cars and then in anticipation of the autonomous vehicle. So this one is to kind of speculate into um, in the recent future how um, the dramatic change of the mobility can can affect architecture space and how um, architecture in terms of form, interior, and uh, spatial quality is accommodating to the change of the speed, the change of the driving experience, etc. And then you can also um, get to know more about their studio information um, through the link. Were you able to go to their studio page to look at their both their news and the recent um, student work and the team introduction? So the image world is kind of bringing all the um, all the images from different departments and different students together, uh, and then you can kind of browse in a in a more kind of a random and visual way. This I think what also, Kaiho, yeah. I think one, one point in the image world is also nice that you can change your point of perspective within the cloud with those buttons at the bottom left to right. So they are kind of like you can fly around within the cloud to have different perspectives to those images. As obviously from one perspective, you can not always encompass all the available images. So with the arrow buttons on the bottom, you can slightly change your position and uh, select out of, let's say a different cluster. Yeah, like here I'm like kind of inside the cloud. So I get to kind of go be more immersed into the images. I think maybe also one thing to outline in the concept of the overall world, but also what's inherent here in the images is that we went for, um, we didn't go for the usual classifications of departments or studios. Everything is collated in, let's say a larger ensemble, as we did not want to emphasize individual bodies, people, teaching staff, studios, departments, uh, we wanted to somehow emphasize, let's say, the unity of the overall department in the university at large and not individual studios. Yes, this uh, is also just a recent project from our studio, again, from that situation of the market in, uh, in uh, Tallinn from last semester. Uh, two students conceptually embraced the idea of a new fish market with integration of 
different kinds of mobility concepts, circulation concepts, all under a large, vast uh, roofscape, if one could say it like that. Okay, let's go to check out on the other worlds. Um, let's look at the model worlds. So in this world, um, once you enter, you will see there are like multiple 3D models uh, collected from um, the school. You can browse the model with the, those two arrows in the bottom to walk around the platform. Or you can also click on the model to get the information. So for this one, um, for this model, um, it is from the Olympic Media House project um, that deals with the future of urban transformation and focus on the celebration of the Winter Olympics in the Italian cities of Milan and Cortina and the Ampezzo. Um, the model is gonna turn um, in this kind of turntable movement. So you'll be able to see both uh, the view in the back of the model as well as um, its three dimensionality. Sometimes the model is only from part of the project. Like this one um, is a spherical model from um, Studio Greg Lin, um, which is part of the overall market the students designed. So this part is, um, so the project is about uh, search browse scroll, scroll uh, which is inspired by the, by the way the customer is um, using the Amazon to purchase stuff um, that the project is looking at how to transform this sort of interact, interaction into physical or three-dimensional form um, to make the experience of digital as a physical space. And in the left corner uh, of your screen, you see two buttons, right? Which take you whether to the to the center, which is home, but also there is a reshuffle button, which uh, loads some uh, new models into the scene, but also um, which you can see, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but also repositions the models the models in the in the in the whole uh, overall setting. I guess this was this was probably kind of the. The, the, the most challenging part in working with, uh, with uh, uh, the virtual environments and kind of also obviously in the WebGL format, meaning that it's, uh, that it's running on the internet is somehow to keep, to keep the, 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 the world sizes uh, at, a certain, at a certain scale. So obviously uh, our we tried to we tried to put in as much as we could, and the reshuffle option, which I think is also is also um, in some other worlds, a possibility kind of was the way to keep the 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 size of the worlds under control, yet still having hopefully a good user experience. Yeah, exactly. Because um, in 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 the in the cabinet where we are um, proposing is like a three D kind of a game ish environment, um, and it was very challenging in terms of um, presenting things in three D and also rendered in real time, um, and as well as the way to interact with them. And obviously, it was also a selection process of keeping work and sometimes um, 
putting work into different places. So not all the projects are represented in each of the categories. Um, and as the name says, you have to be curious to explore. And that's, the, that's our aim and take on interaction. So rather than giving a didactic curatorial experience through projects, the Cabinet of Curiosities has a bit of a, I would say, mysterious take on things that are there to explore for the visitors. Not, or, not in order to educate them, but in order to highlight glimpses and pieces and fragments of the last year's students' body work. Yeah, and also um, this, this um, cabinet is not just for the festival. I think in the future, we'll keep like maintain the website as well as update um, the recent students' work. So this will really become like a platform of our institute um, to showcase um, recent projects in all different, uh, different kinds of media. Okay, maybe we explore a new medium, Kaiho. So every time one wants to do that, you need to go back to the initial starting point in the center. Yeah. Little a travel through the galaxy. And then from the menu, you can just, one can just select the medium that they want to engage with. So here is the text world um, that you see kind of um, the name of the text and then the tags are kind of in, embedded inside a box. And if you click one of them, the box is gonna unfold. And then you see uh, a sh short text um, of either like a project or a, about the publication from, from the Institute. So this one is, um, is about a new book from iHeart Blog, Augmented Architectural Objects, um, that is looking to a new visual vocabulary of architecture. And then in here, um, it would also bring you to, the, to know more info about this publication. And then for this one, you'll be, you will be able to see more. Um, this one is from the hyper mobility um, from Andrea Bonner. Um, oh, sorry, this one is from the studio Hani Rashid, uh, which is the studio description that you kind of um, saw in the, I think in the, in both the model world and the image world about some, some sort of student project that work on this topic. And then in the text world, you, you can kind of see a more comprehensive uh, brief about the studio. Yeah, I think this specific project has been developed with uh, with Andrea Berner, you know, at uh, on uh, in, from the theory department. So it kind of outlines, it responds obviously to the, to the studio investigation. Uh, um, but it's also within the urban strategy and theory of landscape uh, where it deeps, uh, it kind of dives deeper uh, into, into uh, the thought um, about how mobility and urbanity come together. Sorry, you would need to read the text for a more detailed thoughts of the student. Um, In this one, the positions. Uh, this is also a new book, um, 
edited by our colleagues, uh, Maya Bensa, Indre, as well as um, the Institute of Architecture. Maybe you, um, you can kind of introduce to us a little bit about this book. Yes, this has been, this is a publication uh, we did together as a kind of follow-up on a lecture series, which we organized for the Sliva lecture series, which is hosted by the Institute of Architecture. And uh, I think two years ago, we did a series uh, with alumni to kind of um, map where our graduates are going, where, how they're developing, and what are the territories that I occupy with their work. And the lecture series ran over the whole year. And we were just so impressed by all the, all the different positions which we were able to present. And also obviously uh, in that format, we could not, there was a limited amount of people that we could uh, obviously include. So we how they're developed that the book is a great um, option to expand to expand actually the 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 platform uh, for voices that uh, were strong uh, and had their position within the architectural discourse uh, on many levels. So we went on and created this publication, which came out. This year, uh, I think in February, is by now available in you know all of the all of the major uh, bookshops, and it's really a nice get uh, or collection of of uh, older, younger uh, alumni and uh, showcasing kind of their their their, their projects, their agendas uh, within the architecture. And also in here, you can see um, um, this is the studio syllabus of Studio Greg Lynn, um, the new market um, that you can get to know more about the kind of the background and the context of some of the projects you saw in the other world. Yeah, I think as Benson mentioned before, the curiosity and the exploration aspect of the of the cabinet, uh, you'll see that once you start browsing browsing through the world, you see bits and pieces of projects. But I think if you spend a little bit more time there, these bits and pieces start to fall together and uh, connect. And so kind of going deeper and deeper and deeper step by step in a certain way, it leads you through, through the, you know, the, the, the projects that are developed uh, in the Institute on many levels. Yeah, I think it's a very interesting way to encounter with those projects. It's like picking up different puzzle pieces um, from different worlds and then it's kind of slowly put them together so you get to know um, like a bigger picture. Right, this is also why it's probably quite, uh, I know it's a little bit time to spend, but I think that the nice thing about the text world is that you will encounter, you know, also essays, which then take part whether of, of, of the kind of studio idea and projects and develop them within a uh, written word uh, into a deeper thought or in or individual um, essays which are maybe only you know slightly slightly relating to the actual uh, studio project world but are dealing obviously still with very architectural topics and develop them uh, in, a, in a written thought process uh, into into a deeper understanding or provocative uh, thought on uh, on certain topics. So very recommendable to take a little bit of time and maybe just uh, read through some of those uh, things.
Okay, we can also go to the um, diploma world. So in the diploma world, um, we are presenting the projects um, from the diploma students um, in both in all kinds of media, like both for the 3D model as well as for the images. So, so this one, the it looks like a, a pile of potato chips is from uh, Chen Chen Hua Huang's um, recent diploma project um, that is looking at. It's named as Reform Standard that is looking into an alternative design <coughs> workflow for architectural design industry. Um, to think about how um, those non-standard pieces or the raw material or recycled material can be automatically um, recognized and um, archived by the digital process and then use a series of um, um, processing analysis, for example, structure, force analysis, uh, as you can see in here from the image, uh, the project is trying to develop this sort of autonomous process um, for the non-standard material. So at the end, um, the project is trying to target towards the notion of waste and waste item in the future world um, that could be redefined as a new natural land to be explored, designed, occupied um, by the inhabitants and economic entities. Um, so this is a diagram um, in Chen's diploma that you can see how um, these this chips or this shell structure is being analyzed in the, by the machine. Um, and then how the parameters are being analyzed by symmetry, proliferation, thermal area, and height. So in the diploma world, um, you can see more images of the project as well as um, the 3D model and the video. So if you keep walking in the diploma world, um, This is another diploma project. Uh, from Studio Hani Rashid, it's called the Flora Future, and which is looking at the relationship between human and nature uh, in the age of the mixed reality and um, automation. To think about what's the what's the um, kind of how people are interacting with this sort of artificial nature in the recent future. And then you can see both the in interior and the uh, um, exterior rendering of the project. So the diploma world is providing you with a more um, kind of comprehensive introduction of the diploma projects from the Angavante. So this one is from Do Machines Dream uh, from Studio Hani Rashid, um, looking at artificial intelligence and how the forms can be automatically uh, produced, learned, and reconfigured. Now you see both the physical model as well as uh, the interior render of the project. So 
uh, in the about, you get to see more information about the cabinet of curiosities. Um, and then you can also click on the links to the festival main page, our Institute of Architecture website, as well as Obo's website uh, that help us to develop the website. And um, do, are we taking any questions? Maybe just one comment. I think that there is, uh, as you can see, one black world in the back, which we kind of left out now because it seems like we have a bug, uh, but we are we are about to fix it. Uh, it is but... working. It is working on my laptop. I received the feedback right now that it's a browser issue. It should be fixed soon, but. Um, if we would switch quickly screens, Kaiho, yes. I could. Yes. yes. Um, just very quickly take everybody to the video world. So in the video world as a different format or medium that students um, explain their work on or with are different video formats. And we see here again, uh, a random array of, of uh, video production that students uh, in different department studios, diplomas and projects have produced uh, this video which should be playing right here now and you see that the video is quite heavy and it, my computer is not very powerful and lagging but this was a video that was done in Armin Hesse's uh, department which engages with uh, C CGI production uh, in the next video I can depict Hani Rashid so I strongly assume this is a video uh, I actually think it's that um, Flora Futura diploma video of uh, Silvia Nanu. And then you can basically just uh, go from image to image and just get glimpses and videos of what's happening at the IO. This shows Maya who's curated uh, a sliver lecture series, which happened this semester mainly uh, also on the digital format over Zoom. Again, here a random back to the visualization department. So again, here you will not be able to depict uh, the knowledge of an individual project explained from start to end. It's more glimpses and fragments of studios, departments uh, of the overall institute. Down on the right here, we can see, I see a video or I saw a video of our recent graduate, Anastasia. This again is a video from the model that Kaiho explained in the model world, uh, the browse, scroll, uh, studio group. And in total, I think we have seven or eight surfaces with a number of videos to be looked at. Also, obviously, if you click on the video, you can get links and further information related to the content. And you fly through the center back to, to home. So I think we've covered now all of the mediums and with some samples of content. Um, this is pretty much what we have envisioned in this little side project, Cabinet of Curiosities. Uh, the idea is also that more work will come in the future um, to be showcased here in this interactive environment. And I would just say, 
maybe we open up for a few questions before we close this tour. So if anybody of the few participants we have would have questions, we're, we would be very happy to answer those. And if there are no questions, we would just say thank you to all the collaborators and supporters, and thank you for listening in on this little tour through the cabinet of curiosities. Are there any questions from anybody? Hi, hi, it's Leslie here. I just wondered whether it might be possible just in one one or two minutes to go back to the image um, section. Yeah. Um, yes. I just thought it was, it was, I think it's all fantastic, but it'd just be lovely to have another second look at that one if you've got time for that. Yes. Thank you. So you see all the images are always going to be facing you, the, 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 the visitor. I mean, obviously with your mouse, you can browse a little bit around and rotate and new images in the world will build up. Uh, and then you have to be a little bit selective what catches your attention or maybe something that you know uh, to get further links or information on those images. I know, for example, this project in orange and yellow, uh, I click on it and we've just reviewed this project a few days ago, again, within Studio Lin by Zach and Kyle, which is a large scale proposal for a culinary market experience uh, branching over the platforms of the main train station in Vienna. I obviously know a little bit our projects more than from the other studios, but again here it's a world to explore and to browse through. I'm taking a new perspective, new images from a different perspective starts to reveal and build up. And whatever catches my attention, I can then further engage with it. Kaiho, I think, explained this project. This was a Studio Rashid diploma, Do Machines Dream, Artificial Intelligence, a hot topic currently in investigations in architecture. So all in all, we know this, it's, it's, it's more like a, a cloud of images to be explored. And then maybe if I want to change again my position, uh, I look at, again, a new random selection of studio work. And then if you press the home button, you return to center. Again, ready to make a selection. Any more questions or requests to review something or visit something? Well, if no, then I think um, we'll just say thank you for being part on this little uh, tour with us. And I, maybe we give back to Stefan.